Hello and welcome. Let's talk about Babcock's tissue forceps. Here is a figure, a diagram showing the Babcock's tissue forceps. So, what are the identifying points? The terminal part of the blades are curved and fenestrated. The tip is provided with a ridge in one blade and groove in the other. When the ratchet is closed, the ridge of one blade fits into the groove of the other blade. As there are no teeth, this is a non-traumatic forceps. The fenestration in the blade allows some soft tissue to be accommodated in the hollow while holding it. Uses It is used during appendicectomy. It is used during small and large intestinal resection and stomosis to hold the margins of the gut before applying an intestinal occlusion clamp. It is used during gastrostomy or jejunostomy to hold the gut while applying post string suture. It is used during cold co codo sorry cold co duodenostomy to hold the duodenum before making an incision in the first part of the duodenum. It is used during gastrectomy, gastrojejunostomy to hold the margins of the stomach while applying an occlusion clamp. It is used to hold the cut margins of the bladder during transvesical postectomy or suprapubic systolithotomy. Sterilization. It is sterilized by autoclaving mechanism. End of the topic.